You're listening to the My Morning Devotional Podcast, episode 1044. Today's Devo is called, Bless Those Who. Hey there, we're the Alessis, a ministry family working together in our church in Miami, Florida. And if you're like us, when days get busy and to-do lists get longer, it can be hard to find devotional time. That's why we've partnered with our friend Allison to produce a five-minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Good morning, everybody, and happy 4th of July to all of our listeners in the United States. It is a great day for us. It is Independence Day, so I hope everybody is enjoying their time off and is enjoying their families and their friends, and I hope you are all enjoying the wonderful plans you have for today. But thank you for also making time for My Morning Devotional Podcast. So, Rochelle, you also have a wonderful, interesting episode name for today. So why don't you tell us more about Bless Those Who? Yeah, let's do it. So today is Romans 12, 14 through 15. It says, Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Mm. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. And once again, this this entire chapter is just really filled with a lot of great wisdom. But this is giving us instructions on people that we have to bless and how we need to do it. And sometimes we mentioned in the first episode that it's so hard for us when you see all the stuff that's going on around us in the world to say, I'm going to speak positively over it because it's just awful, right? Yeah. But this Bible says, this Bible verse says to bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. Mm. So we cannot do what the world does. Yeah. We have to bless people. We have to use our words to edify. And even the people who are against us, well, we're going to pray for them, that they find God. We're going to pray a blessing over them. We're not going to pray awful things over them because that's not what the Bible says. And it goes on to say to rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. It's a clear instruction of what we need to do with our family, yeah. with our friends, how we're there for each other. If you have a friend who is going through something amazing, then it's on us to celebrate with him. Mm. If you have a family member who's going through something hard right now, it's on us to go and be there for them and be strong for them. And if they're sad, we don't have to be super sad with them. We have to be strong, but we can get there and be like, hey, I'm just here. Yeah. And in the middle of that, we can use our words to bless them. Mm. And so this is just a great encourager for us to just be different by blessing others, using our words to edify, and being there for the people around us. Mm. I love that, Rochelle. I love that. And you know, it's so funny because I was, as you're talking, I'm thinking about how there's a lot of leaders in the in the church world nowadays, mm-hmm. right? There's a lot of leaders in the Christian world that their version of bless those who persecute me means I need to speak up and get my side of the story across. Hmm. When you said it so perfectly, blessing those is just speaking positively. Yeah. It's it's just I'm going they may speak negatively, they may think negatively, but you know what? I'm going to speak positively. I'm going to speak life into their lives. I'm yeah. going to speak godly wisdom into their lives. I'm just going to speak the word of God over their lives because because that's what the Bible instructs us to do. Yeah. And it's so funny how that that sort of, oh, but I need to get my side of the story across, that can come through. We may think that that's wise and important, but really that's sort of a worldly concept. Yeah. And the Bible is telling us, okay, those people who persecute you and try to bring you down, speak blessings over them, speak yeah. life over them. And honestly, in my brain, <laughs> I'm like, what? How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> yes. But then I also love how you backed it up with practical wisdom, such as, okay, but also lift others up around you like spend time with your family like be around them that's so important as well yeah so i wow that was really really good (laughs) that was really really good thank you so thank you will you pray us out for the day let's do it father god we just thank you for another amazing thursday and right now we just bless your name lord we bless you because Mm. everything good comes from you and we're able to have this life and this good life because of everything that you've done for us And if you can speak life over us every day, Father, because we are your children, we can also speak life over all the people around us. So we're going to take today some time of the day to be intentional about blessing your name, 
but also finding out how we can speak blessing over the people around us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So there you have it, your five-minute daily dose of heaven. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day. If you found value in this devotional, share it with a friend, leave a comment or review for us on the app you're using right now. Until tomorrow, we pray that your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.